Dragon Nest private server 2022. Hi, Saviors GH here. Today, we're gonna play in the Project Doc private server of Dragon Nest from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. And I'm gonna show you guys the monetization and some features in the game. Project Doc is a private server for Dragon Nest. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game. Okay, guys, here's the character creation. And here are the different classes that we can play as. Here's the warrior, archer, sorceress, cleric, thinker, Kali, assassin, Lancea, and Machina. By the way, guys, we're playing on a private server, so the classes are different from the official servers. Okay, so what are we gonna pick? Warrior, archer. Okay, let's play this Machina over here. I'm kind of interested in the arm. She has a robo arm. Let's go, create. And here's the character customization, guys. We can test out the different <laughs> gestures over here. We can make her wave, rage, cry, and agree. World Project Talk. How many heads? We can pick nine heads, guys. How many faces? Three faces. And then the eyes, we can only change the color. And then over here, we can change the top. There's five tops available. How many bottoms? Five bottoms. I'm assuming also five gloves, right? No, there's only one glove. And how many boots? Five boots. Okay, let's pick this one. Let's name our character. Create the big city. We're in the game, guys. Ooh, there he goes. Is that another player? That's another player over here. So, as I've said, guys, we're playing on a private server. And when you launch this game, they keep on insisting that you read the guides. Because they approach the game differently here. And according to the guide, the first thing that I remember is open up this Duckling starter bag. So let's open it. Opening the bag, this is probably the beginner support box. Oh yeah, storage expansion, inventory, cool cat, a pet. And I don't know what this is, and a costume pouch. And yeah, I remember this. Also this item over here, we need to sell this to an NPC. And what else did we get? Unique rune amplifier box. Okay, I think this is equipments. Ooh, there it goes. Okay, oh, but where is it? Uh, quest? Easy? Okay, there it goes. We got this corrupted Belkin spirit. What is that? I don't know what change. Okay, so equip the shoes. Equip all of this stuff over here. Equip all of them. Okay, now we got full costumes. These are all costumes. Why? These are equipments over here. They're low level. How's that gonna work? Okay. Anyway, there's another wing over here. Flaming wings, but it only adds movement speed. The other wing that we got adds physical damage, magic damage, so we're not gonna use this thing. What else can we use here? Man, there's a lot of items. Storage expansion, use it. Inventory expansion, use it. Hidden crest slot, talisman slot expansion, dual skill slot, crest slot expansion. What else? Over here, I can't use this. Revival item, portable storage kit, class change. And then in the miscellaneous, we get costume pouch again, which can we wear this? Okay, now let's go to the costumes. There it goes, but it's weak. So I'm assuming this is also weak items. Let's just open it, see how it goes. But the stats are different. This one adds strength, agility, intellect, but the one that we're equipping, Adds direct physical damage, magic damage. Huh. Okay, so let's just figure it out. Test out these things first. And then if it doesn't work, if it's weak, we're, we're gonna change it. Okay, so what else? We got some buffs over here. And this stone, which I can't use. Okay, so what do I lie? Okay, there goes the pet. Let's name our pet. My nephew played this already. He pointed this to me. So I was like, okay, I'll make a video. <laughs> but I don't know how to play this. But I played the official Dragon Nest. So I'm slightly familiar with this. This is action. So, uh, I'm reading on my phone. I need to find an NPC called Kiwi. Kiwi. Okay, there it goes. Kiwi sells general goods. We need to sell an item to her. Okay, oh, we're going the wrong way. And then we're gonna get gold. Oh, look at this. Is that the pet? Oh, no. We got some kind of a bat and then we got a cat. Uh, there goes Kiwi. Interact with her. I am trying to interact with her. You scared me, you scared me. Okay, general shop. Uh, how do we sell here? Sell collectibles. And there we go, we got gold. And what do we do here? <laughs> I don't know what to do here. PBP general store, starter, okay. Uh, I don't think we need these things because we got something better. Okay, so let's just, is there potions? No, only food buffs. I have that food buff over here. What else can we have here? 
EXP juice. What? Okay, let's buy this. See how it goes. Okay, exit out. Use that EXP juice. Where is the EXP juice? A hot new drink just for your allies. Drinking this juice will increase your allies' EXP by 50k. Ally has leveled up. Oh, this pet over here. Can I keep using it? Okay, so what do we need to do again? Man, this is really nice that the private server made a guide. They put it on their website and it's actually nice because without that, I'm gonna be pretty lost here. <laughs> okay, so according to the guide, we need to talk to this Colosseum NPC over here and then open store. Oh no, wait, I need to specialize. Talk to Kiwi again. Class specialization. Let's try launcher. Impactor. I'll be here when you get back. Is that it? I'm not allowed to sit down. I think that's my glasses, right? Uh oh, man, this is complicated right here. I think I need to study this first, which is probably gonna take me at least 30 minutes. But okay, how about, let me just do a little bit more of the guide. We need to talk to this, oh no, this Colosseum over here. What are you gonna give me? Makina. I don't have the item, but why is the guy telling me to approach this NPC again? I don't have the currency, I don't have any goddess medal. Though I have a goddess medal. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's talk to the other NPC that they're talking about. This darkness mocha. Skill crest tour. So this one is for Machina, Patrona, and Launcher. Okay, I'm assuming this is the items that we need to buy. Okay, guys, this is for the skills. This is kind of like an item that, according to the description, like decreases cooldown. Some of it increases the damage. So I'm gonna study the skills, guys. I guess pick what I think is good <laughs> and then buy some skill crest. And then we're gonna proceed with the video. Be back in a bit, guys. Okay, guys, I think I'm already set up. I talked to somebody. And according to him, I need to do the Cerberus dungeon. And according to the guy, yeah, I need to do that. Because it's gonna give me some item that I can use to buy gears. Which I don't really know where to use it, but I still gotta do the dungeon. It's just here. Open up the map. It's over here. The dawn of new beginning. There are a lot of dungeons over here. The Abyss, Varin's Descent, and the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. Okay, so are we ready? Let's go to the dawn of a new beginning. Enter! Okay, Cerberus Nest Beginner. Okay, this is for beginners. The locked door of Cerberus Nest has opened. I put the game on the highest graphics and looking at this, look at this. Looks nice. Okay, we're down. Let's go, bro. Ooh, monsters. Uh oh. Skype them. Oh, there's more over here. Oh man, they're throwing bombs. Get them. Is there another one? Nope. Oh, okay, boss fight. Oh, look at him. He's sidestepping. Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. We're gonna super attack you. Super. Let's go, bro. Man, my super is weak. Oh, man. Stand up. Oh, man. I think I messed up because I removed the jump. And I think I kind of need the jump. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Sidestepping, huh? Come on, let's go! Uh, he's trying to bite me. Okay, he's dying already. Let's go! Dodge! Oh man, that's difficult to avoid. But I see it. I'm not used to it yet. Let's go! You are trying to bite me, huh? Dodge! Let's go, bro. That skill is kind of strong, Q. I put it on Q. Oh, man. You gonna defeat me? I'm gonna defeat you. Finish him off. Finish him off. Don't give him a chance. He's gonna bite me again. Oh, man. That's pretty difficult to avoid. 
chains. Punch him and we win. That's a nice boss fight. I almost died. <laughs> okay, there goes. We recovered HP. Okay, now let me tell you guys a little bit about the game. We're playing on a private server called Project Dunk. And this game is called Dragon Nest. It's a free-to-play action MMORPG released in 2010, 12 years ago. And it's developed by Identity Games. It's previously a South Korean development company. And it's now owned by Shanda Games, a Chinese company behind Legend of Mir, La Tale, Dragon Ball Online, Ark Lord, Storm Online, and more. Dragon Nest reached its peak in popularity in 2011, one year after its release, and its top three region is the Philippines, Thailand, and China. Its gameplay early on focuses on doing raid dungeons where you can use a myriad of classes to take on the different bosses on each raid. But the main thing of Dragon Nest is PvP. I myself played Dragon Nest when it was new. I remember quitting PvP because my ping sucks. But I do remember a lot of players participating in the PvP. Now, going back to Project Duck, it's a private server for Dragon Nest. And as you've seen in the gameplay after choosing a class, we're immediately level 70. And they provided us with all the necessary things required to finish the early dungeons in the game. From costumes with absurd stats, pets, and some gold. As for what to expect in this private server, if you watch the gameplay, we're gonna be doing a lot of dungeons. There's going to be a lot of raid dungeons here. And if you're having troubles on what to do, just go to their website and there you will find guides. Now, should you play in this private server? In my opinion, if you want to experience the game in a different way and start out at level 70, then try the server out. Now, I know your real question lies in the monetization. Now, in this private server, of course, like every other private server, you can donate and help with keeping the server alive. And if you donate, you get the cash up currency, which you can use in the cash shop. But you don't need to donate to get the cash up currency here. Because if you do the dungeons in the game, the rewards is the cash up currency. So if you just play the game, you can use the cash shop. Okay guys, while I was playing, the game crashed, so I had to redo everything until this point. Okay, so anyway, Let's fight the next boss. If it's even a boss. Guard Captain Minotaur Bison. Minotaur wasn't enough. They need to add Bison. Okay, let's go. I remember this boss. What are you gonna do? He's charging me. Attack him. Debuff him. Let's go, bro. Uh oh. Let's go slash. Gamuna, Gamuna. Let's go, bro. He's got a lot of HP. Is there iframes here? Oh, man. Bro, the skip. The dash got cooled down. So I can't really use it that frequently. It'd be, over It'd be overpowered, though. If, if I can dodge infinitely. Oh, what happened there? You weren't allowing me to go! Oh, you yoga flaming, huh? Oh, what happened? All guards, come to me! Defeat the intruder for me! Okay. Oh, man, he's got a shield. What, what is happening? It's getting confusing. Let's back away for a minute. Yeah, I think I need to defeat the monsters first because the bison got shields. Uh oh. Dodge, bro. Oh, man. You gotta love this. <laughs> I don't know how to get up. It's probably jump. <laughs> but I removed jump. Ah. Finish them off. Oh, my power, I'll kill you all. What? 
Oh, I got stunned. That's a strong attack. Dodge. Debuff. Super. Let's super skill him. Die! This is not that difficult. The first one was difficult because it attacks very fast. Duh, bro. You're gonna die. And there he goes. He's dead. Okay. Oh, there's an arrow. Okay, let's follow the arrow. Glutton Monster, Ogre Brothers. Oh, there's two bosses now. Okay, man. This is boss fight arena. Let's go. One tight. Oh, this guy is not that difficult. Their attacks is very slow. For a minute there, I was worried because the first boss was... I don't know. It's kind of difficult. Because it attacks very fast. But this guys, Not so much. Plus the damage is very low. Ooh. We're gonna die. Kill him. And he's dead. Now your brother's next. What? The other ogre is gonna revive. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, okay. According to the chat box, I need to defeat them simultaneously. But how am I gonna do that? Ah. Uh oh. This is gonna be troublesome. Let's damage this guy first. Oh, finish that. Finish that one. Before the other one revives. Uh oh, he's gonna revive again. We need to finish them off simultaneously. Where's the other guy? And there he goes. We need to damage him first before this one. Before the right now. Oh man. Okay, there it goes. They're both dead. Okay. Let's follow the arrow. The huge door to the nest. Core has opened and there goes the Cerberus. I'm assuming you're the last boss. Man, this dungeon is brutal, man. It takes a while. Finish this. Finish this guy. Debuff. Can we super attack him? Super attack. Just gonna sidestep him. Ah oh, man, that skill is not that long range. Finish him up. Sorry guys, I can't speak that much because this is actually kind of difficult. I'm having fun here. <laughs> Dodge. Kicking, huh? Man, he's got a lot of HP. I've been beating you up. You still have a full bar. Finish him. Oh, he's using a blazing fire attack, which I can't avoid. What the floppy bird? Okay. What's happening now? Man, he's using skills that he can't avoid. What's happening here? Darius skill! Man, that skill is so weak. Only the launcher skills are useful. Oh, man. Uh oh. We're in trouble here. He's damaging me now. But he's easily predictable, but he's got attacks that hits me, even though I'm far away from him. I like this one. Ugh. I think I need to use some kind of an iframe skill here. And there he goes. He's using the fire attack again. 
which is ah, oh, you cheating, bro. Super attack, finish him off. Ah, oh, finish him. Dodge. He's gonna die. Oh, he's gonna die, bro. He's gonna die. Ah, oh. man, I'm gonna. Oh man, this is a close fight. I'm liking this. Man, iframe! I don't have any iframe. No, it's that doesn't really hit me. I just need to be oh man, I'm almost dead. I died. Oh, I almost won. <laughs> Press the null key to revive myself. Man, I was trying to figure out what's the null key. <laughs> I've been using PC the rest of my life and I haven't really used what they're calling the null key and turns out null means nothing <laughs> i need to set the revive okay let's press g to revive and i'll go finish this guy I mean, what happened to the keys come on man you're sabotaging me give it this guy finish him off man don't tell me you're gonna defeat me <laughs> again. Oh, man. What's happening? Dodge. You got a yoga bar. Ah, oh, man. It's really dangerous to get close to him. And there it goes, we win. We almost defeated him without dying. And that's a Dragon Nest private server from the start. I really like that they removed the grind because I got into the meat and potatoes of the game very early. The boss fights here is awesome, although it's not as focused on mechanics, but more on figuring out telegraphs. It's still better than most boss fights in other MMORPGs. Now the graphics, in my opinion, still looks nice and it ran well enough on dungeons but when on cities, the usual stutters occurs. Overall, this is a good way to go back and play Dragon Nest again. The monetization is fair and you get to the good parts faster. So if you wanna check the game out, the details are on the screen or check my Discord out if you wanna see other stuff related to this Dragon Nest private server. And if you like the video, the thumbs up, share and then subscribe to be part of the gaming hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Argo. See you in the next one.